So, um, this is Lale, me is Henry. Um, we are part of an organization called Earthship Biotector Germany and we build future. Um, we basically support radically sustainable building and living and um, our aim is to uh, realize holistic concepts communally. So we intend to include everyone uh, in the building process and to uh, enable them to build these kind of dwellings by themselves after attending workshops with us. And uh, we're gonna tell you some more details about how Earthships work. First of all, um, Earthships are built with uh, natural, recycled and locally sourced materials. Not entirely, but as much as possible. As you can see, um, there is a vast um, amount of materials on this planet that are basically thrown away. Like, these are tires and these are people. <laughs> and uh, we can make a lot of... <laughs> Uh, better use from these tires. Um, we can fill them with earth and pound them until they are like nice and firm and in the end we have beautiful structural work that uh, has excellent uh, statical uh, properties and can carry a lot of weight. Additionally we are able to uh, use uh, other materials like the usage of glass basically stems from uh, 10, 20 years ago when glass wasn't recycled. Nowadays, um, it's not really like a, an argument for uh, sustainability, but they look damn good. And in the next picture, you can see like these walls like made from these bottles. They just look really, really good and we just decided to keep them. <laughs> um, also, we're using um, wood, of course. It's a natural resource um, and it grows pretty much everywhere. Um, and uh, in this picture, you can see that you don't have to use all new materials. Like, these windows are basically from the tip. Like, all the like wooden parts and the windows are all uh, from the dump, basically. And um, you can reuse them together with clay, which is a really nice, uh, or called, uh, it's a really nice alternative to building with uh, concrete that is not that ecologically um, positive. Um, clay render can look really, really beautiful, as you can see here. And this brings us to um, the next uh, important aspect of Earthships, which is uh, the thermal and solar heating. Um, as we've seen, the back walls were all made from these tires, and these tires basically represent an amazing thermal mass. They have storing capacity for um, thermal energy, and um, during the daytime, when the sun shines, um, these, this thermal mass is basically loaded or charged with, um, with thermal energy, and when the sun is not shining anymore, it releases it into the living space. And this gives the possibility to reduce the amount of um, heating energy that you have to put into the, into the building. Like um, in certain areas, for example, in Taos, New Mexico, where that whole concept stems from, um, you have a lot of solar gain and in these areas, it works entirely without heating. Like in regions like Central Europe, where you have less solar gain, you need a little stove. You need heating. And the same um, structure, basically, or the same concept, it gives the possibility to implement um, a, a cooling system, a passive cooling system. So you have cooling tubes in the back of the building that are buried in the berm, in the earthen berm behind the building. And uh, due to the structure, like you have the greenhouse in front of the um, main uh, living space, and the greenhouse heats up 
and that gives um, um, that that causes the, a, a convection effect that drags the um, the air out of the um, the roof windows and pulls in the the fresh cool air into the living space during summertime. Um, also, solar and wind energy are um, used, of course, like if you want to live off grid, and that's like the main idea, um, then you want to produce energy locally uh, with PV systems, photovoltaic, and um, with Oh yeah, here we see um, a charge controller and an inverter. That's basically the technical unit that supports the, the photovoltaic systems. And um, then wind power. That is a really beautiful uh, vertical windmill that has been designed in Taos in New Mexico. Like the next slide shows some technical uh, details about it. Um, there are like uh, more recent developments in that field that show like um, looks like a DNA spiral and it works a lot more efficient. Um, then the roof structure is set up in a way that you can harvest the rainwater and um, it flows into these like big cisterns. Like on the next slide you can see um, these big cisterns that are implemented in the, in the back berm of the building. And uh, the water runs through these filter systems so that you have proper drinking water. Um, of course, like when you live in a house, you produce gray water and black water, and uh, you don't want that to be dealt with centralized. So um, your gray water that runs out of your shower and out of your sinks goes into the cells in your, the botanical cells in your greenhouse, and that's cleaning the water and giving the plants water to, to live off, and in the end of the, of the process, um, the water is pumped out into your uh, flushing toilet, if you prefer to have a um, water-driven uh, flushing toilet. You can also use composting systems and a dry toilet that works really well too. It's just that some people can't really, <laughs> well, it's not going to be easy. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's not only about the smell. I mean, you like basically shit in a bucket and you have to empty it every day. But it's like, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. And it, it makes awesome compost. It makes really awesome compost. Okay, next slide. Um, here you can see the greenhouses, like filled with lush green. And uh, this, is, this is basically a, an outlaw septic tank um, where, uh, yeah, it's like a different system that um, takes care of all your feces. And this is how compost bays look like. So you can produce food in your greenhouse, of course, it's a greenhouse. And um, a lot of uh, awesome plants grow. And uh, if you want, you can also implement aquaponic systems. So you can uh, also grow fish. So um, those were the, the more technical principles of the Earthships and um, now we want to show you or explain you how our organization, Earthship Biotech to Germany, is kind of trying to bring those um, principles to a more broader concept that we want to bring to the people. So we as an organization, um, we don't have to focus on, um, on the technical aspects of the Earthship, but more on um, bringing the concepts to the people and um, learning with them and showing them perspectives on new ways of building and living and um, building together in a very social way. So um, this is why the social aspect is so important to us. And um, also with the principles, we want to um, have universities and um, organizations researching the Earthship concepts because there's still a lot of work to do. And um, people want to have to see how we can develop those concepts so that um, they can work with them in the future. And um, yeah, here you can see the social aspect of building together as a community is very important for us. 
And um, in the past we have done some projects um, that implement all those things I was talking to you about. So um, this, for example, is the um, Earthship Experiment, which was a festival in Berlin where we um, build a kind of urban Earthship to um, show the people how it can be done in urban space, which is in the next picture. And um, yeah, here we were building with clay and using the bottles as well in the a, in a urban room. And um, this was a, um, a presentation in the Prinzessinnengarten in Berlin, maybe you know those. Um, yeah, then there was the Boom Festival in Portugal where we also had a presentation and talked to the people about the Earthship concept and principles. And um, then there was the European Lecture Tour with Michael Reynolds, who is the um, inventor basically of Earthships from America. Um, he invented it in the 70s and worked on the concept for 30 years to develop it to the point that it has come to now. And he was in Berlin talking um, to lots of people about it. This is in UDK. Um, yeah. And then uh, in the, the Fusion Festival that was now this summer, we also had a presentation um, and a workshop as well. Um, this is us so far. And um, you have the possibility to get in touch with us and um, stay up to date concerning our new projects and things that are going to be here in Germany and um, we are going to have a workshop outside now where we want to develop with you concepts of how we can bring our vision to the people and um, work on concepts and we would be very happy if you want to join. It's going to be like right now after the presentation I think and um, on the outside. Mm -hmm.